man, I got another good video for you guys. In this video, you guys are going to discover are these 10 college degrees really, really, really useless? And I, I wanted to make this video because, you know, a lot of times people talk and ask me about college degrees on this channel because I am a big fan of computer science majors, management information systems majors, computer information systems majors, basically technical degrees that allow people to go on and become something in the tech space to make a whole bunch of money and to get a return on their investment. Now, as you guys heard, I promote tech degrees on this channel. So if there are degrees that are out there that are outside of tech degrees, people are asking me, are they useless and huh? What? Especially there are so many videos that are out there talking about degrees being useless and there being a whole bunch of controversy behind that. And guys, let me tell you this. I'm Antoine Wade. I run the Black Heights channel. And today we're going to be diving into this controversial topic, especially for coming up in the year 2024. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel and you like this sort of content. Also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So guys, in this video, we are going to be addressing three problems. Are these 10 college degrees really useless? Or is it just a misconception that most people haven't figured out yet? And have you ever wondered what an academic degree truly represents in the world of education? And of course, we're gonna be talking about what we can learn from this topic. So let's find out right now. Now, before we get started, let me give you guys some brief context. We're gonna talk about what a college degree, and I'm gonna use an article by the best schools from associate to doctorate, a complete guide to college degree levels. And the article says, a degree is an official academic credential that schools give to students who finish a course of study. A bachelor's, a master's, or a doctoral degree is just one type of degree. There are also associates in professional degrees as well. And degrees basically show how knowledgeable and how skilled someone is in a certain area, and many jobs require or prefer people with degrees. To put it more simply, think of a degree as a key that opens doors to possibilities. It lets people discover and find their way around, kind of like a passport to the world of careers. A degree opens doors to job chances in the same way that a key opens a locked door. Now let's get back to the issue at hand. And according to a survey done by saveourschools.org, the 10 most useless degrees, which is a study that was done by experts in another article that I came across by Ed Smart, which is the 20 most useless college degrees of 2023. These are the 10 useless degrees in college. We are going to start off with number one, and it is gender studies. And gender studies is placed at the top of the list because of its practicality in terms of job opportunities and career prospects. It suggests that there are limited job openings in this field. And coming in at number two is religious studies. And religious studies is considered a degree where you can easily, I mean, easily access the subject matter through free or low cost resources like books and online content. A lot of experts question the marketability of this degree as well. And coming in at number three is art history. And the articles argue that art history can be self-learned through textbooks and online resources, making it less practical to invest in a formal education for this subject. Coming in at number four is anthropology and archaeology. Theology. And this degree is placed on this list because of its poor job prospects and limited job openings in this field. Just imagine spending thousands of dollars into the field of anthropology and archaeology and you get out and you don't have many job openings or job prospects where you can make a good amount of money. That's sad. And coming in at number five is fine arts. And fine arts is considered a degree where you can learn everything you need through books, online resources, and by connecting with other artists, making it unnecessary to invest in a formal education for this field. Take a picture of you, and take a picture of you, and take a picture of you. And coming in at number six, guys, is photography. And the article suggests that the field of photography is oversaturated with many resources available online for free or at low cost. 
and they emphasize that you can improve your photography skills through practice just like i was just doing just now let me take a picture of you let me take a picture of that you can improve your skills through practice rather than formal education and coming in at number seven guys is communication and this one was a bit of a surprise for me but while communications is a broad field it implies that it may not be a practical choice due to its perceived lack of specialization and unclear career prospects so although it, it came as a surprise for me it's broad i mean like people who specialize or major in communications do have certain niches like things towards you know online content content or a niche towards publications and things like that and add a little bit more career job prospects but communications with it being so broad is at number seven on this list and coming in at number eight is language studies and the articles argue that learning a language can be accomplished more effectively and economically by immersing oneself in the country where the language is spoken rather than pursuing a formal degree and i certainly agree with that and at number nine guys is drama and theater arts who would major in something like this anyway <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> But this degree is included because it is considered difficult to teach acting in theater arts solely through books or online resources, but also it was believed to have limited career opportunities. And give me a drum roll, give me a drum roll, give me a drum roll. We are at number 10, guys, and many of you guys are going to question this one as well the world of psychology yes it is psychology and despite acknowledging that psychology can lead to viable careers such as social work it was placed on the list because it is a popular major very very popular here in the united states according to research it has poor statistics in terms of job openings job satisfaction and future job growth now all 10 of these degrees are included on this list due to concerns about limited job prospects. Because when you go to school, you ultimately want to get a job or build yourself and build a career where you can make money and enjoy what it is that you're doing. It is also that these degrees on this list are on this list because of the perceived redundancy or the availability of free or low cost resources for learning in these fields. I mean, like if there is a chance for you to learn this stuff online for free, why would you spend tens of thousands of dollars getting taught in school by people who don't even know or have access to the subject or even know very much and have real world experience and throw your money away versus reading books or getting real world experience from people who do and have done this every single day. Now, due to all 10 of these degrees being on this list, of course, they're going to be mixed reactions from different people across the globe that gave their own insights and tried to defend the college major that they choose. And here are some of them. One individual named Sujan emphasized that a degree's value isn't solely based on others' opinions, but on your own passion and commitment. It only becomes useless, they say, if you don't enjoy your chosen field. What do you guys think about that? And another perspective comes from Brooke, who suggests that many of these degrees can become more valuable with further education, such as pursuing a master's or a PhD. Hope Brooke knows that that does cost even more money. But she advocates for individuals to thoroughly understand the degrees they pursue, which I agree with. And lastly, a comment by Disarm Pianist. He basically advises against investing in degrees without specific, specific job prospects. Now let's talk about solutions because many of you guys are probably questioning the degree that you have majored in or if you're in college right now and you're majoring in one of these degrees, you probably feel a certain way or you may be on a list that may not be the top 10, but it may be the top 20 uses degrees or something along the nature. But I wanna give you guys some solutions and think about how we can overcome this or just our thoughts about this. A degree may open the door to job opportunities, but it's the skills and knowledge that you gain that will determine your success 
in the long run. And I don't think that we should put all the blame on a degree or the degree that we choose to determine our success in the future. It will still be up to you on how you would use that degree and the skills that you've learned in order for it to determine what your future is going to look like. And one of the things that we should always remember is that learning is not attained by chance. It must be sought for with the ardor and attended to with diligence. And another thing that we can learn from this situation is that degrees and titles don't define who you are. Your character does. We naturally are hungry for validation. But remember that your abilities are not determined by the letters after your name, but it's by the actions that you take. And after all, the world cares very little about what a man or woman knows. It is what a man or a woman is able to do that actually counts. And the third thing that we can learn from this is that education is not a competition. Every degree represents a unique journey in a different set of skills and knowledge. And the beauty of education is that it allows people to specialize in their areas of passion and expertise. And every degree is a testament to someone's dedication to their chosen field. And remember that no two degrees are alike and just as no two individuals are alike. So embrace the uniqueness of your educational journey. And after all, the value of a degree is not solely in the title, but in the knowledge, the experiences and the perspectives that it brings to the table. So let's conclude on this video. It is important. It is very, very important that we remember that there are no uses to college degrees when it comes to education. The variety of educational paths shows how unique each person is by showing off their unique strengths and hobbies. The degree someone gets shows how dedicated and passionate they are, adding to the rich web of knowledge in that world. The most important thing is to realize that the beauty of learning goes beyond any piece of paper. It's in the unbreakable gain of knowledge and no one can ever take away the true value of wisdom that one gains through schooling. And this gives us hope because learning is a gift that lasts a lifetime and gives us power to change our lives and change the world for the better. And again, guys, my name is Antoine Wade and I run the Black Heights channel. If you like this sort of content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want more of it and you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit that subscribe button and notification bell as I drop videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and do live streams on Saturdays or Sundays. Guys, into the next time. Peace.